This short, simple guide to the element tin will provide facts and information for chemistry students who are learning about the periodic table, and in particular, the element tin. Each chemical element is given a unique chemical symbol, which is used all over the world. The chemical symbol for tin is Sn. The chemical symbols of elements come from their English, Greek, or Latin names. The first letter of a symbol is always a capital letter, and if there are any subsequent letters, they are expressed in lower case. The name originates from the old Celtic word tin, meaning bar of metal. Tin was very important as a required substance in the production of bronze. A late Bronze Age shipwreck was discovered off the coast of Turkey, containing more than 300 copper bars and about 40 tin bars. These bars of metal would have been used in trade. The Greeks imported the metal from Cassiterides, meaning the Tin Islands, which are believed to be a reference to Great Britain, which had tin mines in Cornwall. An important ore of tin is tin oxide, called Cassiterite. The symbol for tin, Sn, originates from the Latin word stanum, meaning to drip, in reference to how easily tin melts. All of the chemical elements are given a unique atomic number. The atomic number for tin is 50. Atoms are made up of three kinds of smaller particles, called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atomic number is the number of protons in the atom. The chemical elements of the periodic table are shown in order of atomic number and identified by their symbol. The periodic table is a chart showing the symbols and the atomic numbers of all known elements, such as tin, in one large grid. The chemical elements of the periodic table are placed in order of their atomic numbers. Atomic numbers increase as you move across a row, called a group, or down a column, called a period. The atomic number of tin is 50. The element symbol for tin is Sn. Tin was discovered around 3000 BC, and is one of the first metals mined and crafted by man. Some metals, including tin, were used by some of the oldest civilizations, including the ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans. Right up to the medieval period of the Middle Ages, people believed that only seven metals existed. These seven metals were iron, gold, silver, copper, lead, tin, and mercury, and are now referred to as the metals of antiquity. Combined with copper to make bronze, the ancients used this material for making weapons, tools, and statues. The element tin is one of over 100 different chemical elements that are known to modern chemistry. Each element is first identified at room temperature and pressure as being a solid, liquid, or gas, referred to as states of matter. Tin is a solid at normal room temperature and pressure. Each element has physical properties that can be observed and measured, such as color, density, and odor. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how a substance will react with other substances, such as water or oxygen. What is tin? In a general overview of the element, we can at first describe tin as a solid. Tin is a silvery and soft metallic element. It is a basic component of the Earth's upper crust and found in rocks. Tin rarely occurs uncombined in nature and is obtained from the dioxide, which occurs as cassiterite or tinstone. The principal source of tin is Indonesia, Bolivia, and Nigeria. The more specific physical properties of tin can usually be observed using our senses and involve a numerical measurement, such as determining its boiling, freezing, and melting points. The physical properties of tin are color, silvery metal, luster, exhibits a shine or glow, phase, solid, crystalline structure, tetragonal, ductility, it can be beaten into extremely thin sheets or wire, malleability, capable of being shaped or bent into extremely thin sheets, such as tinfoil, gives off a weird screeching sound when bent. Hardness, relatively soft. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how tin will react with other substances. The chemical properties of tin are reactivity with water, stable in both cold and boiling water. Reactivity with acids, does not react rapidly. Toxicity, relatively low toxicity. Alloys, used extensively in alloys, such as bronze and pewter. Oxidation, not easily oxidized. Compounds, reacts with the halogens to form compounds. Once the properties of an individual element have been identified, it is placed into a group of elements which have common properties and characteristics. Tin is in the group called the other metals. 
The seven elements classified as other metals are the metallic elements within groups 13, 14, and 15 in the periodic table. The names of the other metals are aluminum, gallium, indium, tin, thallium, lead, and bismuth. The other metals are solid, opaque, ductile, and malleable, and have a relatively high density. They are also good conductors of both electricity and heat. Once the properties of an element have been established, we then have the ability to identify how it can be used. A large amount of tin is made into tin plate by dripping thin steel sheets into the melted metal. Owing to the way in which tin resists the action of air and dilute acids, tin plate is used in many ways, such as in roofing and in the manufacture of tin cans, cooking vessels, and similar articles. The properties of tin are classified by many other factors, including the melting point, boiling point, and density of the element. All of these measurements, together with additional facts and information, can be found on our website. So ends our simple guide to the element tin. We have created a unique collection of videos on many other important elements that have been developed to enable chemistry students to gain a fast overview of the properties of each of the elements, together with their discovery and history. Check out our easy video guides to the elements via our website.